Hi, my name is Tony Polinus and you're watching ILearnThings.com, episode 13, Taking Notes in Emacs Org Mode. If you're anything like me, you've used dozens of applications to organize your notes and take notes and, and keep track of everything that you need to do. Today I want to show you one option which I've used recently uh, to great success, and that is using a, a text editor called Emacs and specifically within Emacs using what's called org mode. The great thing about Emacs is that it's free and open source software. It's highly customizable and runs on multiple platforms. Uh, I use it at work running off of a keychain and also at home on my computer and my laptops. Uh, like I said, it's open source software. It's mainly intended to be a uh, programming platform for editing text files but works really great as a um, note-taking system if you use it in conjunction with org mode. Emacs is available again for free uh, by going to the website and downloading it for the platform of your choice. Later in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install it in Ubuntu from the command line. Org mode is a mode for Emacs that specifically is tailored to creating outlines quickly and uh, making to-do lists and taking notes. All right, so let's get started by installing Emacs. I'm using Ubuntu 14.04, and I'm going to show you how to install it from the command line. Open up a terminal and type in sudo apt-get install Emacs. This will install the latest version of Emacs for you, which is currently version 24. Uh, we can test this by typing Emacs dash dash version. And you see here, the version that it was installed was 24.3. Point one. To launch Emacs, we can type Emacs from the command line or use the Unity launcher. By default, Emacs comes with this welcome screen, which we can disable by going to Customize Startup, then changing the Inhibit Startup screen. Toggle from Off to On. You can hit Apply and Save. The next time we launch Emacs, it will not show that welcome screen. Alright, so let's get started with the org mode. To create a new file, go to the File menu and select Visit New File. It'll ask you where you want to save the file, and we'll just go ahead and save it in our home directory, call it todo.org. The .org extension is standard for org mode, but really you can name it anything you want. Because we ended our file in .org, it's automatically selected org mode. If you name your file something else, you can switch to org mode by pressing Alt X on the keyboard and then typing org dash mode. Like I said, org mode is designed to quickly create outlines. To create bullet points, hold down Alt on the keyboard and hit Enter. And then you can then type in text of the first item. By holding down Alt and hitting Enter again, you create a new bullet point. And again, we can repeat the process. Okay, you can quickly and easily create sub bullets by hitting Alt Enter on the keyboard and then Halt Right Arrow creates a sub item. You can tell that it's a sub item because it added an extra star at the end. Uh, let's see, after we wake up, we're going to brush our teeth. And if you hit Alt Enter again, it's going to create a new bullet at the same level of the previous one. So you can see that it inserted two stars instead of one. Now we can change the order of these items by holding down Alt and hitting up arrow or down arrow. Now we can hold, move whole branches if we hold down Alt and down arrow on the appropriate level. 
You can see wake up, we're moving along with all the sub items. So this is a quick quick way to organize all your thoughts. And again, you just move them around by holding down Alt and up or down. Now you can change the indentation of a particular item by holding down Alt on the keyboard and either right or left. Right. Now if you try to move an item up or down but it's the only item in its particular level, it's not going to move anything. As you can see right here, when I hit Alt up or down, it doesn't change the Garetti line. Let's go ahead and return that to its previous state. You can mark an item as to do by holding down shift on your keyboard and right arrow. If you hit shift and left arrow then it removes the to do. Let's change all of these to to do items. And let's create some more here for lunch. and make some more to-do items. Now if you want, instead of creating to-do items, you can also create checkboxes. To create a checkbox, go ahead and hit enter. Make sure you're at the same indentation level. Starting the new line with a minus sign space, then open bracket space, close bracket. You can see the box that I created changed color slightly, it's slightly bolded to indicate that it's now a checkbox. And we're going to create a grocery list of things that we need to make or create for to eat breakfast. So let's say eggs. If you hit Alt and Enter, it's going to create a new line for you to create the checkbox. Again, just open bracket, space, close bracket, and bacon. And we'll have one more. All right, so now we have eggs, bacon, and pancakes. All of these checkboxes are currently empty, but you can mark them as selected by moving your cursor into one of the boxes, holding down Control on the keyboard and typing C, and then C again. Again, that's Control C, Control C. See, now we've it, and it puts an X in that spot. Now, when you, um, if you want to see the progress of your checklist on the upper level, in this case, we have the bullet point for eat. After the eat item, we can uh, type in open bracket, then slash, and then close bracket. After we've done that, it changes it to red. And if you move your cursor inside that box and hold, hit Control C, Control C, it now gives us a, the number of items in our checklist, as well as the number of items that have been completed. Currently we have 0 of 3 done, but if we move over down to the X checklist and mark that as completed by hitting Control c Control c you'll see this dynamically changes from 0 to 1. And if we continue down the list, we can do that until we've completed the list. Once everything is done, it changes to green, so that you know your checklist is done. If you hit Control c Control c on any check box, it removes the check mark. Now instead of having a, the number of items, you can also change that to percentage by instead of using a slash using a percentage in this particular box so now that we've used percentage if we move our cursor into that box and hit control c control c it'll give us a percentage of the number of items that are done then if we go through our checklist and hit control c control c that value dynam dynamically updates depending on the number of items that are checked Okay, another useful thing to do in Emacs org mode is set deadlines. Let's say we wanted to set a deadline for going home. To do that, you would hit Control C, Control D for deadline, and then you can select the date of when you want to do it. Let's go ahead and make sure we go home today. You can see it inserts a special formatted piece of text, which is essentially a property with a date stamp. Now, once your list starts getting larger and larger, you may want to tag your specific items by uh, assigning them keywords. 
Uh, this is often done in the getting things done or GTD method of organizing your work by creating tags uh, for items depending on what your resources are uh, or where you want to do the particular work. So let's go ahead and create some tags for our major items here. And the way you create a tag is simply by making sure your cursor is on the item or the bullet point that you need a tag for and then hitting control C, control C. On the bottom here you can see that it prompts you for a tag and we're going to enter home because that's something we do at home. Uh, the tag then is displayed on the right hand side here. Again, eat is something we do at home. And the lunch we will have at work. And going to work is again something we do at work. And working more is something we do at work. And then going home is something that we'll do at home. As you can see, the order seemed to have changed here. I'm going to want to move this go to work before eat. And like I said before, you Emacs uh, org mode allows you to move these bullet points around uh, fairly easily by holding down Alt on the keyboard and then up arrow. See, now we've moved go to work before eat, but actually we want it after eating breakfast, but before lunch. There we go. So as you can see, your to-do list can get uh, quite large pretty fast. And the nice thing about org mode is that you can hide sections of it very easily by putting your cursor over one of the main bullet points and just hitting tab. It automatically hides all the text or all the sub-items for that particular item. And you can tell that it's hidden by the bullet points that it creates over here. You can do that uh, on more than one particular bullet item or changing the, the view of everything that is shown in org mode by holding down shift and tab. And if you keep pressing shift tab, it'll cycle through the different levels of indentation. One thing to note is that uh, the checklist, even though it's a sub item of eat, is not shown because it's not a, a different bullet point level. If we were to expand that particular section by putting our cursor over eat and hitting tabs, then we can see the checklist. Again, shift, tab to, to cycle through all the items. So that's a quick way to navigate your to-do list. You can also just move your cursor to a particular item and then hitting tab to expand that. Okay, so now that we've created a couple of items that need to be done, let's mark some of them as done. To change a to-do item to done, just put your cursor over that to-do line and hit shift and right arrow. If you hit right arrow again, it's going to remove the to-do line entirely. Alright, so here you can see we've done those three things, but we still have a few more things to get done. To save your file, you can either go to the File menu and select Save, or hit Control x Control s In addition to using Shift-Tab or Tab to show and hide the different levels of your outline, Org Mode also offers what's called an Agenda View uh, that will let you filter for specific to-do items or specific keywords. In order to enable the agenda view for your for the document that you're working on, you have to press control C, open bracket on the keyboard. On the bottom of the screen you will see that the file has been moved to the front of the agenda file list. Uh, once you've enabled the agenda view for this particular file, you can see the various options by typing Alt X on the keyboard and then org dash agenda. You'll see this little screen pop up here on the bottom and it'll give you um, the keyboard shortcuts that you would press to get the different agenda views. We're going to start with this one right here which is agenda and all to-dos uh, set of two commands. So if we press N on the keyboard you'll get a new view here and the new view will show you a timeline of the different events and here you can see the deadline that we set for going home on Friday August 15th. Um, and you can also see a list of all the to-do items that have not been done yet. Now, as you can tell, the, the to-do items that we've marked as done are not shown here, so it's only showing us the ones that we still need to do. So that's a handy way to quickly filter your, your different files. If you want to jump to a specific to-do item, you can just click on it with your uh, mouse. 
and hit enter and it'll bring your uh, screen back to that specific to do item now as you do, do see the screen has split in two in order to remove the split you would hit control X zero and then we're back to our original file there's another agenda view that I would like to show you in org mode and that is using the keywords that we set of home and work to, in order to filter the file that we're currently working on. In order to get that again, just type in Alt X and then org dash agenda. And now we can filter by uh, keywords by pressing the letter M. It's going to ask us what we want to match. So let's say we just want to look at the things that we would do when we're at home. Since we've already set the home keyword, we can just type in the word home. Now just remember that uh, this match is case sensitive so if you created a tag with a capital H you have to make sure that you type in the capital H as well when you try to match the keyword. And as you can see it's created a list of all the items that we've marked with the keyword home. To exit the screen, screen just press Q on the keyboard. If we only want to see the to-do items that have not been done that are also marked with the uh, tag home we can do that as well you can just type in alt x then org dash agenda and instead of uh, little m we're going to type in capital m it's going to ask us what keyword to match and we'll just type in home and this time instead of showing us all the items that were marked as home it's only showing us the to do items that also have the tag home that have not been done yet so far in this tutorial, we've only just barely begun to scratch the surface of what's possible in Emacs and Emacs org mode. If you're interested in learning more, I highly suggest that you look at the documentation, which you can get to by clicking on org on the menu and then going down to documentation and info documentation. Here you'll see all the documentation for org mode and it's uh, highly recommended that you read through as much as you can in order to get a handle on all the features that are available to you. If you want more information about Emacs in general, uh, Emacs comes with a built-in tutorial and you can get to that by clicking on the help menu and then selecting Emacs tutorial. Or the keyboard shortcut would be Control H and then T. Uh, I would highly recommend that if you never used Emacs before that you go through this tutorial so that you can learn all the keyboard shortcuts because uh, keyboard shortcuts in Emacs will greatly improve your productivity and really help you uh, make the most out of this very powerful text editor. Well, that's it for me in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.